Hi everyone, this is Kim with Affordably Crafty, and my channel is going to be dedicated to showing everyone how they can be more creative in an affordable way through exploring a bunch of different projects, DIYs, hauls, and just general inspiration on how to craft affordably. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul um, that has a lot to do with crochet. Now, I just learned, started learning how to crochet in March when Massachusetts went into um, lockdown at home. So it's been very relaxing for me to pick up crochet and really explore and dive deep into that craft. So for today from Dollar Tree, um, first I'm going to start with some yarn. So I picked up a couple of the Just Yarns which is their new premiere that is at the Dollar Tree. Um, this one's 131 yards, a size four acrylic. And then I also got it in orange and gray. I'm gonna use those probably to make a basket. And then I saw some new yarn from Crafter Square, this sparkly yarn really pretty but it's kind of thin I don't know maybe it's it's a one or something like that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but I picked up all three colors in pink so there's these three colors in pink and then there's two like blue green colors and then I also picked up some white. So this is 100% polyester and it's got 145 yards on each one. So that was pretty cool seeing them come out with their own yarn. Um, and then I also picked up a couple of these really cool um, by Lion Brand pom poms. So I guess these are supposed to go you put them on the end of a hat, which I think my kids will really, really like. Um, I have a toddler and a five-year-old, so I think that they'll think this is cool. So I got one in Tangerine Dream and one in Limelight. I thought those were pretty cool. So online, those appear to be going for $5.99 each. So a dollar is a steal for that. Um, so then some other yarn I got was they had some of this Red Heart Team Spirit chunky yarn. It's kind of showing up a little bit more yellow on here. It's kind of more of a gold color. But this one is called Gold Black. And it is a super bulky is there super bulky six with hmm, where's the yardage hmm. 83 yards per skein so I picked up like 10 of these I'm hoping to try and make me and my daughter matching sweaters so we'll see how that turns out and that's going for about 350 online right now for one skein then I also picked up a couple of these Red Heart Boutique Rigoletto that are like a pink metallic, like, I don't know, it's like a, a novelty yarn, I guess. So, in the color Hot Pink, and this is a bul super bulky six, and it is, how many yards on it? Ten yards, so I'm gonna make, probably make a scarf for my mom for Mother's Day out of this. So I'm gonna use two skeins, so two dollar project. And then I also picked up a couple of this. Oh, and this last one, the Rigoletto online, is going for eight twenty four a skein. I picked up one of these Red Heart Boutique with ribbons. Um, honestly, because I really really like the colorway. 
see it's got black with a bunch of rainbow sequins in it or rainbow metallic thread. This is the color Fireworks. And it's a super bulky six. And it has 42 yards in it. So I'm going to make probably a couple of scarves. One for me and one for my daughter out of this. And online that is going for $9.99 for that colorway. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, then I also picked up a couple of these boutique, Red Heart Boutique Dash. Um, which is this pretty cool color. It's like chained. So if you can see, it's like in all these different chains. Um, and this one is Sunset. A super bulky six. And it's got 30 yards in it. I think my best friend's really going to like that color. And then I also picked up this one for myself. Because purple is my favorite color. Another boutique dash. And this one is called... Alpine. There was only one of these or I would have gotten two. So that's the yarn I picked up. And then I had ordered some plain 100% wool. It's hopefully going to be coming in next week. Um, gonna, oops, I forgot one. So I also picked up a sachet sequins in this red, which I really like the color on this. So it's a really nice color little sequins in it. Oh, over here you can see the different colors. Um, so that is 20 yards and it is a bulky six. Um, that was the only other yarn I picked up. So that was, it's $9.98 online for one skein for that. So I have some wool coming in and I want to try my hand at dyeing. Um, so I picked up some stuff to try and work on that. They had these really cool um, squeeze bottle applicators in the crafter square section i'm really excited because my local dollar tree even though it's a little smaller is going to be getting a crafter square aisle so that is super cool i don't have to drive a half an hour away to get to my closest crafter square dollar tree anymore and then i also picked up a couple of these um spray pump bottles two in a package for the dyeing um and then as far as what i'm going to use to dye well i picked up some food coloring um, and on the back it has a chart on how to make different colors and then I also picked up some other things to dye, try dyeing with so one is this blue Kool-Aid this red energy drink mix a different blue Kool-Aid or Hawaiian punch I should say red Hawaiian punch purple Hawaiian punch, and then a green apple um, Kool-Aid. Then I also was thinking of maybe trying to dye with markers and see how that goes. So I picked up this eight pack of jot markers, permanent markers. I really like the different colors and I thought maybe I could give that a go and try it. Um, And I also picked up this flyer basket, which is, it doesn't see how big it is, but I'm going to use this for a DIY. And then I also got, finally was able to find one of these cutting mats. So I got more than one of these so that I can line them up and make a bigger cutting surface. And these were only a dollar a piece. These things are really expensive at the craft store and don't usually go on sale. So I was really excited about finally finding those. Then I also picked up a couple of these trays. I'm going to take it out of the package because otherwise you can't really see what it is. So they're plastic. They're supposed to be trinket trays that say hello on them. They're about that wide. So I got two. I'm going to be doing a DIY with this later this week. Then I also picked up, never seen this before, but um, these luggage tags. And they actually have a really nice um, thing here where you can just twist this and it comes off, but it's got metal on it. And these are like a heavy plastic. So I have a DIY for crochet I'm going to be doing with this also later this week. 
I really thought that they were nice. I mean, they're pretty big. If you look at it compared to, like, the size of this package, I mean, it's pretty big. So I was happy with that. Got four of those. And I've also been having some problems seeing the yarn when I have a darker color. So I picked up an LED headlamp to try that and see if that will help. Because sometimes not everybody wants all the lights on in the room when I'm trying to crochet. So I'm going to see if that helps at all. I'm noticing black is really hard. Then I picked up a little notebook that I'm going to use for ideas for this channel, but I really liked what it said on the cover. It says, believe in possibilities. I'm not really into flowers as much, but I like the quote on it, so I can get behind that. And then probably the best thing I found, I've noticed lately at Dollar Tree that they have a bunch of craft books all of a sudden. There was a large array of knitting books. Um, I don't knit. I'm not really planning on learning how to knit. Um, there also was some sewing books, but there was some I found on crochet and I was super excited. So the first one I found is this one, 75 crochet hexa colorful hexagrams to crochet. Um, and there's like really awesome pictures in here. So it's got pictures and then each page also has a diagram and written instructions, which I like because I'm trying to learn how to read these diagrams at this time. Um, <clears throat> and it has everything from like easy and it's separated from easy to hard. So, and I like that the um, front of the book has all of them like lined up. And at the store normally, this is $21.99. Um, yeah, a dollar. I'm like as excited about that. And then the other one I picked up, which I was even more excited about because I've never tried Amigurumi before, was this book, Happy Gurumi, um, which looks like there's some really cute projects in this. There's a couple more. And at the store, this right now is $22.99. Yeah, I'll take that for a buck. Um, so yeah, those were a lot of my finds at Dollar Tree this week. Um, so yeah, if you can think of anything that I can use this for, this sachet ribbons, I just really fell in love with the color, please comment down below. Um, and I'm a new channel, so please add me, subscribe to me, and hit the like button um, so that I can do more fun, affordable, affordably crafty um, videos and share some tips and tricks with you. Okay, have a good day. Bye.